G'day, I'm Uncle Heads, Uncle Nakas here, and welcome to episode 42 of my Owner Builder series. Now, things are getting serious. It's time for the kitchen installation. And after hours and hours of going through magazines and looking at colours and can we afford stone bench tops, glass splashback or tiles, door handles or no door handles, it's all come down to this. And hopefully all of our selections work out and we finish up with a pretty cool looking kitchen. It's an expensive exercise, so you don't want to mess it up. Now while the kitchen's being installed, I've got the painters in to paint the inside and the outside of the house. Now we're spraying the ceiling and all the woodwork, all the trim. So what Ben's doing here is laying some plastic over the windows to protect them from the overspray. And Joe's doing the same here by first of all laying some tape on the floor at the base of the baseboards or the skirting boards. And he'll then cover the floor with plastic which will protect that from all the overspray as well. Externally, the boys are just gapping up around all the quad and then giving the eaves and the verandas a good couple of coats of exterior grade paint. Now back to the kitchen and the boys are putting in the first of the overheads. We've just used a standard laminate product for the overheads that are on the wall where we have our oven and you can see here the boys use a pretty good technique of laying a couple of sticks up against the wall to support the overheads while they screw it together. I like it. And the painters, well, they've been kicked outside and they're doing the eaves and the underside of the veranda. Now just in case you're interested, the colour for the eaves and the verandas, that's natural white and the external walls we've used Milton Moon and they're all from the Dulux range. With the overheads in, it's time for me to put the nail bag back on to install the bulkhead, which will sit on top of those overhead cupboards. Now, the point of the bulkhead is purely for cosmetic reasons. There's a fair bit of a gap between the top of the overhead cupboards and the ceiling. So I just wanted to close that gap up. And also it's going to create a bit of a shadow line, which will give those cupboards a bit of depth. I think once it's all plastered, it's going to look pretty good. Well, I hope it does. It took a fair bit of time to build that. And speaking of plastering, I've got the boys back from Paul Hickson plastering to plaster up or drywall up that bulkhead. And you can see that gap between the top of the overhead and the underside of the bulkhead. They'll put an infill about 50 millimeters back from the face of the overheads and that will create a shadow line which will look really effective. And to finish it off, it gets a good sand with the electric vacuum sanding machine. Job's done. Now the kitchen cupboards, they are done. And while the painters are busy finishing off those walls, the benchtop boys are hard at it installing our Caesar stone bench tops. And the color we've chosen is called Sleek Concrete. I have to say that so far, I'm pretty happy with our selections and I hope you've enjoyed watching it all come together. And if you have enjoyed the video, please, a big thumbs up is greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button for more handy tips. All this kitchen work is making me thirsty. I think it must be time for a cup of tea. So till next time, I'm out of here. Cheers.